Hey everyone, it's Anya here from the blog OurGabledHome.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a half apron. If you've been following along on this channel you might know that I have my signature linen crossover in the back apron. I will be linking both here and in the description box down below where you can find both the concept pattern and the fully downloadable and printable pattern to make this apron. However, I always thought it would be nice to just have something that I can quickly tie around my waist and I don't need to um, do anything big and I also wanted some nice big pocket in the front. And it was totally perfect when I was at the fabric store recently and I found a, a linen cotton blend with a beautiful stripe and I thought, oh my gosh, this is the perfect fabric for this little project. So I bought about a yard. I do have some um, fabric left over, which I will probably use to make pot holders and maybe I'll make another video about that. And so here it is. It's simple. You just tie it in the back. The ties are long enough that you can tie it in front and there is a good size pocket here that you can even go out into your garden and stick a zucchini in there or whatever else you're harvesting. And I'm going to show you that it's actually really simple to make. However, I have a little request. If you enjoy this video, I always love it if you leave me a thumbs up. And if you're new on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss another video. Also, I always love to engage with you and love to hear all your comments and questions. So please leave them in the box below this video. I do my best to answer every single one. And if you have any ideas that what I should be making videos about. I always love to hear that too. So just leave all your ideas and comments and suggestions and tips in the box below this video. So let's go ahead and make this apron together. First we need to make the straps, so I have folded my yard of fabric in half and I am measuring 4 inches from the side and then I'll just cut the 4 layers. With stripes it's really easy to get a straight cut. And move the other fabric away. And now I have two pieces there. And again, I'll fold this in half lengthwise because these will be the straps. And I like to pin things into place so when I sew it, that nothing moves. So I'm just quickly pinning. I will mark about an inch and a half. I didn't want the straps to be wider than that. Now I'll simply sew where I mark the inch and a half. And I usually like to do a little back and forth so that the seam doesn't unravel, even though this will be the inside of the strap and it doesn't matter so much. So I'm just gonna go down a straight line here. pins out as I go. Sometimes I sew over the pins and sometimes that doesn't work so well. So at the end here I will make a 90 degree turn because that will be the one side of the strap. All back and forth. Cut off the thread. And then I like to cut the end piece here at a diagonal that will help decrease the bulk as we turn this strap inside out. 
and then I'll just simply cut off the pink side here. And I'm, I like to use a pencil with an eraser end to turn the strap inside out. And as you can see, I'll just push it all the way through. And then I'll uh, make sure that the edges are nice and straight there. Pull it all the way through. At this point, I like to just flatten the strap with an iron, making sure that the seam is really going to be on the outside, that we get the full width of the strap. So I'll use a hot iron to press it. Takes a little bit to do it all the way down. And then I fold in the edges of the open side and make sure that that looks all neat and straight. You can always use scissors. And then I'll sew down the straps to make the seams stay. So I'm just going down the short end here, 90 degree turn, go down long side. And you want to be really close to the edge that makes the straps look a little bit nicer. And once I'm done with this one, I repeat the same process for the second strap. Short side, and then sewing down the long side. And that's it for the strap. Now for the main piece for the actual apron, I'm measuring 15 inches by And I mark my line to get a straight cut. And again, with the stripes, it's usually easier to get a straight cut. And what I'm doing here is I added one inch of seam allowance on both sides because I will be folding the edges twice, half an inch and half an inch. And I've done that here. I've also pressed the edges and now I'm attaching the strap. So I will put that inside underneath the seam. Hopefully you can see it really well here. And then as I fold it over, Hold the strap back to the outside. Make sure that it's all nice and straight. And pin that into place. And then I'll go ahead and sew it this way. I don't have to serge the edges and it looks just really finished on the apron. I always like to do a little bit back and forth on the straps just so that when you tie them around your waist that those seams don't unravel. And then I'll sew down the seams all the way to the end and when I get to the other side I'm usually doing this on the fly Where's my strap? Here it is. <laughs> and I tuck that under the seam, fold it back, put it into place. You could have done that before as well to do both at the same time. So then I'll sew down and sew the strap into place. Here's my turn. to make it extra secure. Make sure all the seams are nicely folded in. You can also pin the seams in place. I just used a hot iron and pressed it 
Either way works. Now I'm adding one more piece here for the lace that is completely optional. It also depends on the width of your lace. I have this wider piece of lace and I fold in the seams. And here is my pocket that has a finished side of about 15 by 7 inches and again you can make this wider or shorter and here's my lace I'm actually attaching it to the very top here and then I have this one extra little piece that I sewed on top of it and I'm sewing both that extra piece and the lace into place I'm going around twice I've marked the middle of my apron with a pin and the middle of my pocket with a pin. And from there, making sure that, especially with the stripes, it will be really visible if your pocket is a little bit off. I pin it into place. And sewing the three sides down. Again, I always like to do a little bit back and forth at the edges there when you stick your hands in it that nothing comes apart. Do one more stitch to get really close to the edge. back and forth to make sure it's not going anywhere all right so here it is you can absolutely if you don't have any lace you can also leave that out i thought it would be really fun to add that and give it a little bit of a vintage antique-ish vibe that is something that i really love and that goes so well with our whole theme here but um, you can leave out the pocket altogether and you can also make it a little bit tweak the measurements and make it longer shorter narrower wider however you want it so you have a blueprint here how to make this apron it's really easy it took me just about a few hours in the evening to make it and i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you in the next video